Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm excited to show you a card that I received from another demonstrator, Suzanne Bernardi. And this is the one she was in a card contest and it's the corner flip fold. And she did an awesome job and it's such a fun fold. And I'm gonna show you how to cut the paper uh, the designer series paper and show you where you need to put things so they pop up. I'm going to be using today in good taste 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is retiring um, soon so you may want to get it. It's $21 for a package of 12 by 12 24 sheets and they're double sided. It's really good for masculine cards. And so I'll be using that with the stamp set Plentiful Plants and or not sure till I actually create this, the Slim Saying set, which this is retiring also. So if you love what I'm showing you, you may want to get those right away. First thing you're going to do is make a little template and I'm just showing you a rectangle of two and a half by three and a quarter. So if you look at that right here, and then I'm gonna cut it from one corner of the diagonal to the other corner. And then you're gonna create this triangle. So I went ahead and did that with this little um, cardboard that comes on the back of your DSP. So in order to make this card, you wanted to make a diagonal fold so it pops up and you'll want to cut your paper with that diagonal fold. This cardstock right here is in smoky slate. Okay, I'm just making a card that's eight and a half by the five and a half and folded and scored at four and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and decide, oh, which side do I want this card? So I want the actual flip fold to go on this and I'm kind of using this as a template right here and putting it right up against the edge of the fold and this other side. I'm going to take my take your pick tool with the scoring edge on it and I'm just going to go across this really good back and forth. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side that I did on the front side line that up and you should see a little bit coming through of that score so i'm going to do that same thing press it down so i've got my scoring edge right there now i'm going to go ahead and invert this on the inside of the card and go ahead and burnish that down you can do that with your fingernail or you can use um, a bone folder too Okay, so there's the card, and you've got to decide, this will be my front, this will be an inside, and this is where I'm going to write. So I went ahead and picked some DSP from that set. Um, I want this to be my front of my card, like so. And then the next, as you're opening it up, I decided, okay, the next one I want is... I want this to be the inside of my card and then the bottom of my card I want the tan or the gray right here. So I have a pattern right here and then I have the gray because I'm going to write on it and this will be in the front. So I want to take all three of those pieces, just leave them the way that they are facing. So if you want to go through that again, the top the inside and the inside. So you stack those just like you want. And these are cut four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This will give you an edge all the way around your paper, your card stock, and you want that edge. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and use this again, but I have all three of these stacked. And you'll wanna have them stacked and make sure that they're in the right position. You don't want to have one moving, so you, you want to go ahead and make sure they're all together. 
I'm going to bring my trimmer in here and because I have all three of the DSPs, I'm going to go ahead and line this up on the edge of the DSP right here. I'm going to use my fingernails a little bit and then make sure they're all together. Now this is the guide right here where the cutting is. I'm going to move that away, flip that down and cut through all three of the designer series papers. Now that five and three eighths piece and four and an eighth piece is going to be, this will be the front. Okay. And that will be the inside. So let me go ahead and show you how to put that together. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front and just use my adhesive and it's going to have a little edge of about an eighth of an inch all the way around. You want to be careful not to get your DSP too close to where you scored this at. Okay, so that's the front. Now I'm going to flip this over and this is the inside. I like being able to do it all three because then I'm like, oh, I know exactly the way that this is going to look on all the sides and which way I like that. So I love this DSP because it gives you texture by having these designs on it. You can go ahead and stamp on this now before you actually adhere it, but for this space of our video, I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down. Now, on th this piece normally goes here. Now I can take this piece and put it right here for interest. And so you can switch these things around if you want to. Maybe that one, so those two match. Um, I don't need to use, or I want to do this if I want them to be different. So you can decide. You notice right here that this piece is bigger. You need to trim this a quarter of an inch on the side. So if you just remember, the shorter side is a quarter of an inch. So I want to go ahead and take this right here and I'm going to move it over to a quarter of an inch and I'm going to trim it. And then the same thing with this one, I'm going to move this on a quarter of an inch. And the reason why I do one up there is because this is flat, I can hold it and so it will stay. And on the bottom, this one is flat and it will stay from moving. Okay, now I have my pieces exactly the size of what I need to go here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. This is just the basics of your card. Once you have this down, then you can make so many of these cards because it's just a matter of figuring out how to cut the card stock and the designer series paper. Okay, so the next idea with this, you've got your basic form or your palette to work with. Now I've got to decide what do I want to do to decorate this card? Well, whatever you decide to decorate for, you want to make sure it's five and a half this way and four and a quarter this way. So whatever I decide to go ahead and put in this section, I want to make sure it stays within this area because if it doesn't, what happens is you can't get it into your envelope. I went ahead and cut out some designer series paper that goes with the suite of this plentiful plants right here. And I thought it was actually a really good one to use for, um, I thought it was a really good one to use as your designer series paper for masculine cards. I'm going to go ahead and put that like that. Now, if you notice, I went ahead and forgot to check. There, I'm going to move that off. Now I'm going to put these up also. I think I will cut this in half just to give it a little bit of height on my plants. Keep it down a little bit to the bottom of the plant and Go ahead and put my plant like that. 
Now I want to go ahead and decide what is the saying I want on this card. Well, because I'm making this super simple, and you will see the finished card in the blog. You can check stampandjill.com. But I think I want to do a bold happy birthday right here. I will put some twine there. So I'm going to go ahead and do happy birthday. And I'm going to go ahead and do that in the evening evergreen because this is super dark green. And that's also in the designer series paper that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and open this totally all the way up so it's flat. And I'm going to stamp happy birthday. Remember, this particular stamp set is going to be moving on. So we've got the happy birthday. And of course, right here, we need something else right there. You open it up. And let's say you want to make another greenery happen there. Because it says happy birthday, I also want to do you are one of a kind. Because a lot of times we're one of a kind when it's our birthday and you're special so let's do you are one of a kind also in this stamp set will be fun to do you just oh look how cool that looks you are one of a kind and it's just you know it doesn't have to be decorated a lot to be a masculine card let me show you some other ideas that I've come up with the corner flip fold that are also masculine ideas. This one right here is done with Beauty of Friendship set, stamp set and um, Beauty of Earth designer series paper. This also is another cool one. Look how you open up the inside and it pops out. Right here you put something on there and it pops out. You notice that these two are different. In other words, the folds are on this, on the left end or the right end. It, it just depends on which way you want to, for it to look. Let me show you another one. This is a graduation card that's super simple with designer series paper and the rocks here. This is done with the New Horizons designer series paper. They come in six by six pieces. I also use this Slim Sayings on congrats to the graduate. And you open it up. And I use the enjoy and the happy for you. And this is a little gift card holder right here. Just made a little pocket for a gift card because graduates, that's what you usually give them is money or gift cards. So that's another simple one. And this one here is the happiest birthday wishes. And it's also done on the side like that. This is also being retired. And the name of this stamp set is our artfully layered stamp set. And the DSP with this is called artfully composed. And it works great for a masculine card. It is going to be retired. So if you'd like love this look then now is the time to get it here's a couple that are not masculine that i went ahead and used with these stamp sets and designer series paper this designer series paper has the gold flex in it so it's a specialty paper and i went ahead and just die cut these out or fussy cut them out to show you a different look with this um, designer series paper. The designer series paper is called Expressions of Ink and it's gorgeous paper. And I went ahead and used the stamp set that coordinated with it and used the thanks. This next one is the peach set or sweet. And I love the designer series paper with this. Now, if you notice, I went ahead and instead of doing a card like this, I went ahead and did it tall and you can open it up and you have a surprise in the center so how it just depends on how you put your inside to how it's going to form you only want to adhere it on the one side of the fold so it shows that it can open up 
I've had so much fun making these corner flip fold cards. You can tell that I kept on going and going. And thank you, Susan Bernardi, for bringing this to my attention. And I had so much fun creating. And if you want the dimensions on these or the stamp sets that we used and the designer series paper, go to our blog, stampinjill.com. So hope you've enjoyed our Watch It Weekly Wednesday, and we'll see you next time.